Peri-implant bone loss. Do you warn your patient? I'm Colleen Schnettler from South Africa, and today we're going to have a look at the patient's perspective on how they deal with treatment we need to do on them. What? My implant has to come out? This is a conversation none of us wants to have with our patients. If you didn't place the implant, then you're happy to discuss this with the patient to take it out. But if it's one of your own implants, it's a very emotional experience. When you think about dental implants, these images need to come up. We want to think about the healthy soft tissue, healthy bone, and an overall healthy situation. Something that mimics a tooth. But unfortunately, this is not always the case. Currently, more than 5 million implants is placed annually and the number increases on a daily basis. But with this amount of implants, there's also an increase in the amount of complications. The current prevalence of peri-implantitis ranges between 1 and 85%. The reason for this large variation is that different studies actually use different criteria to diagnose it. But since 2017, the World Workshop of Peri-Implant peri Diseases has come up with a standard criteria just to help create some consensus. A recent article published in 2020 actually decided to compare their findings from 2015 by, and to then use the new criteria for the, from 2020. And what they found, and these are their results, is that the mucositis cases actually say the same, the prevalence. 